There's one more algorithm I'd like to consider, and that's the merge sort. The merge sort, of course, sorts the data in a list. It takes a divide and conquer approach. It does so by splitting a list into several sublists, each of which contains only one item and is therefore, by definition, sorted. Then, pairs of sublists are merged back together, sorting as it goes. This is how it works. We have a list which needs to be sorted. We split it into two. We then split each sublist again. And then we split each sublist again. We now have eight sublists. Each sublist contains only one item of data, so each sublist is sorted. Now we start to merge pairs of lists back together again, sorting as we go. And eventually, we have a fully sorted list. Let's have a think about the merging process, which is the most expensive part of a merge sort. To turn eight sublists, each of one item, into four sublists of two items, we had to perform eight append operations. Then, to convert four lists, each of two items, into two lists of four items, we had to perform another eight append operations. And then finally, we performed another eight append operations. So we've performed a total of eight times three append operations. So let's derive a big O time complexity from this. We've seen that if n equals eight, the merge sort does n times three append operations. We know that the log of eight is three, so the log of n is three. And it follows that we did n multiplied by the log of n append operations. This generalization is correct for other amounts of data too. If we had 16 items to sort in our list, a quick sketch would reveal that we'd need 16 times 4 appends. The log of 16 is 4, so n log n holds true. We haven't concerned ourselves with the splitting part of the merge sort process because if you think about it, this has the same time complexity as the merge. It scales at the same rate, so its impact on the overall process is merely constant. Cast your mind back to our discussion about dominant terms. So, the big O time complexity of the merge sort is a cross between linear and logarithmic. We can call this linear rhythmic. And in big O notation, we write O brackets n log n. This is what it looks like on a chart. And any other algorithm with n log n complexity can be illustrated with a similar looking chart.